Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Aisha Sibanda and today we are filming the highly requested Garden of Drip part two. So guys, if you haven't seen the video already, a couple months ago, I filmed this video, which was the first ever Garden of Drip I have rated on my channel. And the reason I chose to rate that event specifically is because you know guys, like if it's about Botswana, I love to hear it. I love to support it. I love to talk about it. So yeah, I had just decided to review that event that had happened and guys that is like the biggest video on my channel right now like your people love that video still this day i'm still getting positive reviews of that video and even for this garden of drip guys a lot of people had been texting me like when is the review give us the review so i decided that you know what let me give the people what they want to see let me review the event and guys honestly for this garden of drip it's been so difficult for me to find like proper proper pictures of the event i don't know if like i'm not looking in the right places or i don't know where to look or the pictures have been kept private this time i've been hearing all kinds of reasons as to why most of the pictures are not publicly accessible but I've been able to find enough pictures to give you guys a good review and guys just as the last video I'm gonna put out a disclaimer this video is not meant to bash anybody's sense of style it's not meant for you guys to you know think that I'm shaming what you're wearing because guys I like the jacket I'm wearing right now but you might not like the jersey I'm wearing right now it just it is what it is it's an opinion you know what I'm saying and like I said in my last video if you put something on the internet it becomes everybody's business and I found all these pictures on the internet so yeah let's get into the review like this video please leave a comment i would really appreciate it i'm gonna try my best to reply to all the comments and yeah tell me what are your favorite looks and without further ado let's get into this garden of drip review part two Okay guys, before we get started, I want to show you guys my outfit and the reason I want to show you guys my outfit is because if I'm going to be reviewing your outfits, you can review mine as well. Tell me how you feel about this hoodie. So this is the fit, ne? we have this hoodie, yeah, and it's like one of those designed hoodies, the ones that like is ripped from the day you buy it. This is my first time ever wearing this hoodie and it's already ripped, you see and i am obsessed i love this hoodie i don't care what anyone says because i showed my mom the hoodie and she's like nah, I better my when I i'm like anyways <laughs> okay and then on the bottom we just have casual pants honestly when i'm on youtube guys i don't try for the bottom half i try for the top half the part that everyone can see but yeah here's <laughs> what we have today and yeah got <laughs> like Okay, so guys, the way I'm going to be reviewing the pictures is basically if I love, love, love your fit, if I love your outfit, I'm going to give you five stars. If I thought your outfit was okay, like if I liked it, but I didn't love it, I'm going to give it four stars. Three stars is like, meh, it's mid, but I'm okay with it. I like it. Two stars is like, mm, there could be some improvement there. And then one star is basically, I do not like the outfit at all you know but i doubt i'll be giving any one star reviews because disclaimer i did look at some of the pictures and i haven't seen anything that i specifically did not like so we'll see how it goes let's just try to give an honest review right so the first person we have is the skull the skull has a red lace front on she has what are they called like camouflage she has camouflage pants she has um a striped blue and yellow t-shirt and yeah guys like I love her outfit, honestly. I love the shades that she paired with it. I love how it fits her body. Like, kind of one of the most difficult things to get correctly there is color blocking. And I feel like she does that beautifully. So for this outfit, honestly, I'm going to give it five stars because chef's kiss. Okay, so then now we're going to move on to her friend. That's the person who's sitting right next to her in this picture. And her friend's outfit is basically... Is it the color peach or brown? Hey, guys, kinda, I told you guys this on the last video, but I don't know colors. But it's kind of like a peach type of colored outfit. She has a peach top, some peach jeans, a peach bag, and yo, everything is peach. Even the nails, I believe. I can't really see her nails properly, but they look like they're matching the outfit as well. And my favorite part about this outfit is that, like, she said that she was going to do peach or brown or whatever the hell color she's doing and she stuck to it. Like, I love that because you know sometimes, what I hate, one of my pet peeves is when someone like, 
is trying to do a particular color throughout the whole fit. Let's say, for example, I say I'm going to wear pink and then I have dark pink on the top and I have light pink on the bottom. Then I have a medium pink at my shoes. I don't like that. It's one of my pet peeves. It's like if you're going to stick to one color, stick to it. You know, some people can pull that off, but it's never been my cup of tea. So I love how her outfit has this perfect cohesion from like head to toe. So for her as well, it's five stars. Even them as a group, as a unit, like they're just giving everything they're supposed to give. And yeah, and I love her tattoo. I love how it's like on the side of her stomach i could never get a tattoo like that now my stomach is <laughs> let's not even get to that but yes my my tattoo would even be stretched out <laughs> but my skin yo yo yes but i love it on her so yeah both of these girls five stars period okay so next up we have this girl this girl is in all black she's in black cargo pants with the many many pockets she has like kind of a corseted type of design top she has her wig laid for the gods like she's like yo what lace if it's even i can't even tell if it's a wig like what like y'all her wig is giving her body's giving she looks beautiful and i'm so sad that i couldn't find a picture of her completely standing so that i can see the shoes as well but guys you guys are going to notice this is a common theme in this video like it was so hard for me to find pictures of people with their feet inside for some reason but yes the look is beautiful but it doesn't blow me away it's not one of those looks that like you know like you go wow but she herself 10 out of 10 but i'm gonna give it four stars because i can't see the shoes i can't see you know a lot of the look but i love it and i would have loved if she had like some kind of a necklace but from what she has here it's beautiful four stars moving on oh and guys by the way i don't know any of your names i'm so bad with names but i know this person's name i know her name and the reason i know her name is because we went to the same primary school because guys i've been to seven schools when i was back in primary school and high school in botswana so i do tend to recognize some people here and there because Hatar Tugo Botswana so ish <laughs> but yes i know this girl um i love her hair i love how her hair looks i love the top she's wearing and the jeans she's wearing i really wish i could see the shoes but like i feel like she just looks good like she genuinely just looks good and the funny thing is even in primary school i remember she was so beautiful and she's aging like fine wine yo Mujima has favorites. But yes, I love her tattoo and how it like just is showing on her arm. I love the little um, snakeskin bag she's wearing. I love some snakeskin. Yeah, I'm going to give this one four stars mainly because I don't have the whole look. And I'm trying to be as, you know, non-biased as possible. I'm going to give it four stars. And yeah, she's she's a baddie. She knows she had 10. Per. Okay, so the next look, you know, guys, when I first saw this picture, I thought that this girl was the picture that I like the first girl I showed. I thought that they were the same person because they're kind of wearing the same jeans and they kind of have the same hairstyle. But upon further inspection, this girl's wig is brown, that girl's wig is black. This girl is wearing a white t shirt and that first girl's wearing a black t shirt. So I was very confused, but I'm so glad I figured that out. Wouldn't it be embarrassing if, like, I was talking about one person and showing pictures of two different people? That would be so embarrassing. Thing. so yeah i'm happy i was able to figure that out but yes this girl is dressed in a white top a white crop top she has jeans similar to the girl from um that first picture she has those type of jeans she has a black purse she has a wig and it's laid to the guys who is doing your wigs go garden of drip who because it's like there was a hair and makeup meeting like by the door and people's like shit was just getting laid and everybody was just you know getting all glammed before they entered the event because guys i cannot lay a wig to save my life even this install i did not do this myself because i can't but you girlies are eating and i'm like are y'all doing this yourselves but anyways this girl she looks beautiful i love her outfit i love her jeans i love the crop top i think it's amazing honestly honestly it's something i would wear so i'm gonna give this five stars i'm very biased five stars per okay next up we have a duo we have two beautiful 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 girls who are each wearing their own individual customized um two pieces let's start with the one on the left the one on the left is dressed in is it orange yo guys colors i'm just gonna say orange she's dressed in an orange and white two piece three piece to be fair three piece it has a bikini underneath it has like a top on top and then it has a skirt to match guys i love this so much i love this so much i feel like my one small critique on this would be like it looks more like a swimsuit than an actual outfit but like the balls that you'd have to have to just 
you know, say I'm that girl and I'm going to wear this and I'm going to make it look good. And I'm going to wear it to like an event, like throughout the night. Like, I love that. And I love her, how her tattoo is showing. I love how her hair is like tied up. I, I just love it so much. So for this one, I'm going to give her five stars. And now let's move on to her friend on the right. So her friend on the right is in a jean two piece. It's jean shorts at the bottom. And then we have a jean crop top and we have sunglasses. And honestly, it's beautiful as well. It's risky. It's a bit scandalous. It's, it's amazing. I love it. I'm going to give it five stars as well. Okay, and next up we have this girl. Um, I think you guys saw this girl in the video that I posted because there was a Garden of Drip video that they posted on that page and I just put that at the beginning of this video. I know you guys saw that. Yes, but she was in that video and she was vibing. So she gets plus 10 points for vibing. You know, like when Masley Queen go to the party and like everyone else is dancing and they're just sitting there looking at people like this. I hate that. I hate that. I know I can't dance, guys. I cannot dance to save my life. But if I go out, I'm, I'm going to try my best. I'm going to just be there doing the chicken on the dance floor because I'm not just going to be sitting. So I love it when people vibe. I love it when people go out to have fun and not to be couch warmers, you know? So this girl, her t-shirt is a crop top and it's written babe on it. And then she has cargo jeans with pockets and she's using the pockets as an accessory as she should. And then she has a leather bag across it and she has sunglasses. They look so and then she has her hair tied up. I love this outfit. I love her. I love how it suits her body. I love how she knows what to wear on her body. It's like Per, I'm gonna give this five stars. I love it. Okay, next up we have this girl and honestly God has favorites <laughs> Y'all <laughs> Yo, the body is body adding like need i say more like the body speaks for itself but yes it looks like she's wearing it's either a, um, a dress or it's a two-piece it's like black on the top and then we have a black skirt and we have a mat like a peach purse along here we have white sneakers and black sunglasses honestly guys if i don't give this girl five stars what am i doing with my life <laughs> if i don't give this girl five stars i'm jealous yeah <laughs> so I want to give her four stars because I am jealous because why? Why do you look so beautiful? No, I'm joking. She looks gorgeous and yeah, I love her outfit. I love how it complements her body and yeah, five stars per. Okay, next up we have this girl. She has braids. First braids I've seen of the night. Everyone was like lace fronting, lace backing, lace siding, lace easting, lace westing. <laughs> so it's nice to get a refresher and finally see some braids. We have a corset blue top. I'm seeing a lot of corsets. People are really loving like corsets this time around eh? a white skirt um white sneakers i believe and then she has sunglasses to pair and a black bag i think she looks beautiful i think she looks adorable i actually really love this i love how the skirt fits her body her legs are like gorgeous like she has no flaws like you know but it's because when i was a kid i used to run around and like <laughs> fall around the whole house so whenever i see people who have um clear legs i'm convinced you're either god's favorite you are not as clumsy as i am or like you have some intense leg skincare routine because my legs hmm. <laughs> no i'm kidding they're not that bad but i do have like a few scars here and there from my childhood but yes her she is perfect she is gorgeous she is that girl so per five stars ne? Next up, we have this girl, and this girl is also one of God's favorites. She has like that banging body. She has like a natural, if it, she's wearing any makeup at all, I can't really tell because her skin looks flawless, but it looks naturally flawless. She has a blue crop top. She has a skirt. Honestly, guys, whoever ever dates this girl, you better treat her like a princess because she's beautiful. But yes, um, yeah, I love her outfit. I love how it fits her. I love that I can see her shoes and they match. It's like, yeah, this is like what I would expect people to wear going to an event. And yeah, she does it beautifully. So five stars for me. Oh, next up we have Miss Cardo, guys. Miss Cardo is actually in one of my other YouTube videos. Not her per se, but I actually did um, talk about her in a YouTube video about my favorite content creators and she was one of them, you know? Okay, and maybe my opinion is biased, but in this case, honestly, I do love her outfit. I love the white top she has on. I love her cargo pants. I love how she has a stomach out. I love the braids in the front. And she just looks genuinely happy to be there. Her outfit is beautiful. I wish I could have seen her shoes. But from what I can see, I'm going to give what I can see five stars. Per. Okay, next up we have this guy. I featured him in my last Garden of Drip review. 
And if my memory is not failing me, on the last review, he was wearing zebra stripes. Now this time, this man is dressed in leopard. <laughs> now I'm like, what's next, bro? Are you just gonna dress like a tiger next time? <laughs> He seems to really, really like animal prints. And I clocked that ever since I saw, like, you know, this post. I was like, okay, okay. <laughs> the man's love some animal skin. But to be fair, this is a completely different outfit. We stand that. He has on a leopard print shirt. Um, he has sunglasses on. And then he has black pants. And he has, like, just casual, like, shoes on. They're just plain black. So in terms of this outfit, because it's very similar to his last one, my opinion is a bit biased because I'm like, bro, I've seen you in the same outfit with a different shirt. <laughs> so it's a bit biased. But if I had not seen that one, I would still give this one four stars. So let me not be selfish. I'm going to give it four stars as well because I have seen, you know, something very similar and the same person in the same outfit. So four stars moving on. Okay, now we have this girl and I saw her full outfit in one of the videos. Um, I'll insert that if I can find it as well. I love it. I think she looks so cute and I love the thing covering her head. I find it so unique. I love how it's matching with the skirt. I love the white bag. It complements the white interior of her outfit and her outfit is orange, but it's on top of a white fabric and you can see the white fabric peeking through. It's just, it's so beautiful and her face looks so beautiful. Like, Honestly, I love this outfit. I'm going to give it five stars. It's, I've never seen anything like it. So I, I'm just going to give it five. Okay, so next up we have this girl. She has a chain on. She has, oh my God, her hair is so beautiful. Like, you know, whenever people have long hair like this and the hair is relaxed, I am like, Mm, how are you guys doing this and why can't I do this like her hair is just growing out her head like why doesn't my hair I mean my hair does grow but it, it doesn't grow when it's her back Yo, guys I'm, I'm going so off topic she has black pants and she has like little straps around her hand you can really you can see like little pearl bracelets around her arm and yeah honestly it's a very 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 casual outfit and like it's okay it's not bad and it's not like oh well but it's not bad at all so for that i'm gonna give it four stars because i don't hate it but it's not like you know on top of the world so moving on okay so next up we have a duo we have the guy on the left let's start with him he is wearing a drew 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 <laughs> drew <laughs> He is wearing a Drew shirt and it's oversized and then he has sweatpants. And what I like about this outfit is that the design on the sweatpants matches the color of the Drew on his shirt. What I don't like about the pants in particular is that they have a lot going on on them. And, you know, there's a very thin line between like graffiti on clothes and giving like high school bathroom vibes, you know, how people ride on the bathroom. So there's a very thin line so if the line is here and high school bathroom is here and cool graffiti is here i'll say he's somewhere in the middle he's somewhere there so i don't hate the pants i don't hate the pants don't get me wrong but i don't love them so for that i'm gonna give it four stars because i do like the outfit as a whole i like how it fits him and i like the effort he put into it so four stars okay so the guy on the right he's wearing a nasa shirt he's wearing nasa pants and he's wearing red shoes white shirt and a bucket hat it's quite casual to be honest and i do like it a lot so i'm just gonna give them both four stars because you know they're not like oh my god there's one outfit that i absolutely was obsessed with last garden of drip and it was like here so the bar is where that outfit was for me they're like you know meeting the bob you know so four stars for them okay so next up we have this guy he's wearing a glotto shirt and he's wearing sunglasses nice beard nice mm, nice beard who, who doesn't love a guy with a beard he has a hat which i am obsessed with i love the hat i want to be the hat <laughs> i want to be in that hat i like the hat a lot so i wish i had seen the whole of his outfit ne? because Anything Glotto is always a win for me. Glotto is like one of my favorite, like, you know, African brands. So anything Glotto is a win for me. I love his hat. And you know, guys, he's like the one person who, if he's at the event and then someone is like, hey guys, Gunther, I haven't seen this guy. Then someone asks, which guy? And then you're like, the one with the hat. You get what I'm saying? You go know exactly who had the hat that they're talking about because it's such a unique hat and he's pulling it off like a king. He looks... 
five stars. Five stars for the hat alone because I cannot see the rest of his outfit. But if it's anything like the hat, five stars from me. Okay, next up we have this girl and she's in a casual brown two-piece. It's a two-piece crop top and then pants and then she has sunglasses and she has her hair like in a short little bob and it's curly. And it's like, it's okay. I don't hate the outfit, you know? Like, it's okay. It's what like I would expect people to wear to like, you know, regular events you know it's not what i'd wear because i like to be extra but <laughs> it's a cute outfit she's pulling it off she looks cute she looks like she's just there to have a good time and i love it so i'm just gonna give it three and a half stars because i feel like i want to see more you know like i want to see more out there looks to be able to give four or five stars but from what i can see it's adorable so three and a half Okay, next up we have her. I think her name is Wame. We also went to the same school. See, I told you guys that I've been to a lot of schools. Né? And you know, guys, I've noticed that like corsets are in. Like a lot of people were actually wearing corsets at the event. She's wearing a corset, a black corset. And also cargo pants. This is like the third person we've seen wearing cargo pants. Né? She has like a short bob wig. And of course the lace is lacing, guys. Why are your laces always lacing? But her lace is lacing. Her makeup is makeuping. Her hair is hairing. Her waist is wasting. Her pace is pacing, eh. <laughs> Just sign me, sign me, I should be a rapper. I should be a rapper. I love her outfit. I think it hugs her body real good. I think that her makeup and hair are complementing her outfit so well. Like, it's just casual, it's good vibes, it's a good outfit, it looks, yeah, she just looks good and the girls are sitting nice. So I'm gonna give this one five stars, I love it. Okay, next up we have this girl and she's in short shorts, like super, super short shorts. And she has a top over it, a black t-shirt and the t-shirt says Ben to go. I, I don't know what that means. And then she has sneakers, she has a purse and she has her hair in braids and the braids are tied up and she has like sunglasses. I love it. Like I love how high the pants are because I could never, go out in that pa those pants because I would be so self-conscious so the fact that she's out there and she's confident I like people who like to take risks I like people who do things that even I'm too scared to do as much as I can be confident in myself like I love that you know and I love that she's pulling it off she's here for a good time like she looks very casual I do really love this outfit so I'm gonna give it four stars Okay, now we have this girl. She's also very casual. She has short shorts and then she has a t-shirt that says, her t-shirt says Pittsburgh and she has her hair in like little bangs. And this girl is so pretty. Like she is, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> she is so pretty okay, i'm gonna give the outfit itself three stars because i feel like it's quite casual it's literally just a white t-shirt and pants but she is very beautiful so her personally five stars but the outfit itself three stars but yeah moving on okay next up we have this girl and this is where my stalkerness comes out from because this is a screenshot from a video see because i'm a big stalker this girl has like dogs in the house who let the dogs out <laughs> she has dogs on her t-shirt she has a skirt it looks like a baseball skirt or a basketball is a basketball or a baseball skirt basketball right she has a basketball called skirt on she has like a wig and obviously the lace is lacing y'all i'm convinced people were by the door and they were like free 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 install hey dali thousand install eh? mahala 50 pula <laughs> because why does everyone's like lace look like you were standing in a line outside getting your installs while the part before the party started why does it look like that you know but nevertheless i like what i can see of her outfit i think it's fun i think it's something i'd wear which is quite important to me so i do love it and i I'm gonna give it four stars from what I can see. Okay, so now we're specifically reviewing this guy and this is also a screenshot from a video. We're specifically reviewing the guy in the cargo brown shirt. And the reason we are reviewing him is because he just stood out. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because he has dreads, but he just stood out. Um, yeah, I love the shirt. Ooh, my opinion here is bias, y'all. <laughs> is bias, but yo, he is... Anyways, <laughs> yes, I love um, his shirt. I love how there's no shirt underneath. You know, give the girl something to look at per. But I don't know. I feel a bit odd about that. And his, his underwear literally says raw. Child. Anyways, four stars. <laughs> okay, now we're re reviewing the girl who has 
the cap on and the t-shirt that says essentials on it and the reason i wanted to talk about her is because her t-shirt says essentials fear of god and you know guys how garden of drip actually like abbreviates to god i found that pretty cool and i know that she's wearing a shirt and jeans just like the other girl that i said was just wearing a shirt and jeans and i gave three stars but the god just it just suits the environment a bit more i just you know i just i found that cool i like that so four stars and also because I like her hat. So. Okay, next up we have these two people. And I think I found this picture on Facebook with some very, very, very thorough investigations. Yes, I'm a stalker. I was probably on your profile if you've been to this event many times. Many times um yeah these two people the guy's hair looks freshly done it looks like he went straight from the barber shop to the event you know <laughs> and i love that i love a clean look it's it's nice i'm not mad at that the girl is wearing cargo pants cargo pants cargo pants cargo pants everybody cargo pants a white shirt um and the guy is wearing a red jacket with blue jeans and overall like I don't hate their looks at all. I think it's giving Riri an ASAP. I think with the color combination, the color blocking. So I'm not mad at these looks at all. So I'm gonna give them four stars, you know? Four stars mainly because I can't really see their shoes. And obviously it's a bad angle, so you can't really see the outfits properly. But with what I can see here, four stars and per love it okay so next up we have the skull she's wearing them big ass sunglasses that everybody be wearing <laughs> i'm just joking guys i love them on you guys i love them but yeah she's wearing the biggest sunglasses she's wearing um, a corset top it's a white corset top and looks like black jeans jeans i think yeah black jeans and i honestly think her outfit is adorable i think she looks cute i think it complements her body and i think it's quite simple and casual but it suits the event so honestly, honestly, it's something I would wear and I'm convinced my style is good. So I'm going to give it five stars. I love it. Purr. Okay, next up we have the three girlies, the three baddies. Purr. <laughs> okay, let's start with the one on the left. So the one on the left is wearing like, it's a one piece and she has a satchel over it and she has white sneakers. I don't hate the outfit at all. I think it complements her body. I think she's pulling it off good, you know? Like, it's quite simple, so I'm gonna give it four stars, but I don't hate it. I don't hate it at all. So, and then we have the girl in the middle. I know her. I don't, I've never met her in person, but it's so weird because she's the, you know guys, when you go on Instagram and you organize the people that you follow based on who you followed first, she is the 10th person I've ever followed on Instagram, like since I've had my Instagram account, since I opened it in like 2016, 2017. And the reason I followed her mainly was because we have the same birthday and I think it was my birthday and then her post appeared on, it was even before there was a discover page or something like that. And it just appeared and I was just like, oh, and then I followed her and I was also friends with on facebook back in the day when you know people we are on facebook like this so yes we were friends on facebook and then i followed her because i realized we have the same birthday so i have been following her for years and yeah i feel like maybe my opinion with her could be a bit biased because you know when you feel like you watch someone grow so you feel like you know them weird i know but you, you know guys even celebrities sometimes celebrities die and we cry it's weird right it's weird how we can get so attached to people over the phone but anyways, she's even in my video, the one for my top 10 favorite Instagram baddies. Yeah, she's in that video. So if you haven't seen that video either, you guys should check it out. So yes, she's wearing a black corset. She's wearing a long jean skirt and it's kind of grayish black. And then she has some shoes that look like they're Gucci. And then she has, hey, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Them sunglasses and purr. I love the outfit. Honestly, I, I think it's beautiful. I genuinely really, 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 really am obsessed with the outfit. I love the skirt. I would buy the skirt. Where did you buy the skirt, sis? I gotta get it. <laughs> I love the outfit, so I'm gonna give it five stars. And then we have her friend on the right. And her friend on the right is also in my um, top 10 favorite Instagram baddies video. You guys should go watch that if you have not seen it already once again so yes her friend is like wearing like um a, a bra a bralette and then she has a blue and black jacket over it and a matching blue blue and black pant set over it so i said this guy's in my um top 10 favorite instagram baddies video but this girl can do no wrong to me like she could probably show up to an event in like a potato sack and i'd be like 10 i'd be like smash <laughs> you know what i'm saying like she can't do anything wrong so it's gonna be five stars for me i 
We love it. We love to see it. So moving on. <laughs> Next up, we have this guy. He's wearing a white shirt and blue pants. And then he has white sneakers to match. And honestly, I really, really like it. I find it so casual. I love baby blue. I think it's a beautiful color, especially on men. His skin looks good. Like, ugh, I don't know. He's he's giving man. He's giving manly man. And I love it. So it's five stars from me. Moving on. Okay, so next up we have this girl. She's wearing... And I actually found these pictures on her own personal Facebook page. Because I did some intense stocking <laughs> to find these. But yes, she's wearing a white crop top. She has black, like, baggy jeans over them. She has a baseball jacket is it baseball it's baseball or basketball i must say baseball she has a brown baseball jacket over that white sunglasses she has a brown bandana to match and a hat over that and honestly guys honestly i love this outfit i think she looks beautiful i think that it's cool it's edgy i love how she put the bandana that matches her jacket and then the white hat that matches her white shirt it's just a cool outfit and i'm obsessed with it so for that i'm gonna give this five stars so i also found a picture of this same girl standing next to two guys the one on the left i specifically remember from the previous video because i called him the life of the party né? and i could not find any individual pictures of him this time but based on this picture <laughs> that i found he's wearing um a black shirt with like white words over it and black baggy pants and like i said in the last video life of the party i got like five stars young so i'm obviously gonna give him five stars because i just like his personality based on what i've seen of it from the previous event that i reviewed i love his personality and i just love how when he's in the room the room is lively so five stars from me and his friend on the right or her friend i don't know he is wearing wearing a white shirt and then he has black clothing underneath and he has black pants and honestly i don't hate this outfit i feel like it's a basic like male outfit it's what most men wear like all the time i wish he had like a chain or you know something just to bring more life into it but overall from what i can see i'm gonna give it four stars i don't hate it i don't love it but yeah four stars for me so the next outfit we are reviewing is actually like I think they're called cocktail girls or waitresses. I don't know how to properly refer to them, but the girls that were serving the drinks based on the pictures I've seen. So what I loved about them is that they actually had like cohesion in their outfits and they were cute little mini dresses. Like I'm sure obviously since they're all wearing the same outfit, it probably was not their idea to choose those type of outfits. But I do love the outfits that were chosen for them. I think it fits the event. I think all the girls are beautiful. So it complements their skin and, and bodies beautifully. And yeah, it's just a casual, simple outfit that's meant for the job. And they all looked beautiful. I saw one of them with a bottle of Henny like this and i was like bring it here my sister bring it here bring it you know like i love it i love what they put their uh, waitresses or cocktail girls i don't know how to properly refer to them excuse me you guys can correct me in the comment section but i do love the mini dresses they wore so for them and for all the effort they put into the event not just the dresses they're wearing for them five stars for me okay next up we have this girl and she was a performer at the event because i do have a picture of her on the stage she has a red bandana across her chest and then she has a bandana type jacket um is it a jacket or a blazer whatever and then she has sunglasses she has blonde short hair she has jean pants and she has just orange sneakers with like a red check on them and honestly guys i love her outfit i think it's casual i think it fits the mood i think like there's nothing wrong with her outfit i think she looks cool she looks approachable she looks dressed for the event I, her body is body yaddying like per you know like i love how it looks on her and honestly i cannot fault this outfit at all it's actually one of my top outfits of the night so i'm gonna give this one five stars a very 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 generous five stars i love it next up we have these three girls honestly guys looking at all three of these girls in the picture i find all their outfits adorable like the one in the middle the one who has the blue crop top it's like a very you know structured crop top and a blue skirt and then the one on the other side who has like that peekaboo shirt and that white white skirt i love their outfits i think that they all individually look adorable i think that 
they just look like young girls who are just going to an event and i love the look of that i love how they all look together their outfits actually are all different but they you know they all actually match because they all have the short skirts and crop tops yeah i'm gonna give all of them four stars and yeah i do love the outfits next up we have these two boys let's start with the one on the left the one on the left is wearing gray pants he has a white t-shirt white shoes a necklace that goes like this and he has like sunglasses guys like yo <laughs> every single person what is sunglasses but yo yeah anyways i'm not hating on it because i think he looks good mm. hey miss carter <laughs> say hey come here <laughs> come yeah i love his outfit i think it's cool i just i really do like it so i'm gonna give it four stars you know because it's quite casual so then next we have the guy on his right he is wearing like baggy pants he has an oversized t-shirt and a hat and sneakers i think this fit is fire i think he looks good i think it it's swaggy because can i always say skinny jean and i'm so happy on on this god's green earth i have not seen skinny jeans once at this event one of these jeans it's like you can see the men's ass be shaped so for me the baggier the better <laughs> so i'm obsessed with his outfit i yeah i love it so it's five stars from me okay now the guy on the left is the same guy who was in the previous picture so i'm just gonna review the guy on the right now so the guy on the right is wearing a quite a similar outfit to him he's wearing a black t-shirt he's wearing jeans and he has a cross and a hat and yeah basic glasses honestly guys the jeans are a bit too tight for comfort for me um i don't know if it's how he's standing but he looks uncomfortable like he looks quite reserved and i don't know why that is yeah i'm not feeling the jeans three stars sorry okay so next up we have this guy and i actually reviewed his outfit in the last video and one thing i hate is that he's always behind the dj booth and as much as i do love and i respect djs i'm like come here come stand here you know so we can see the full fit but yes i love his hat it says the avenue in it i think yeah it says the avenue i love the black shirt he's wearing i think it's quite casual i think yeah honestly guys whether you're male female or anything in between or outside the between or anything if you're behind the dj booth i'm just gonna root for you so yeah five stars from me you know get your coin get your coin per okay so this guy is wearing white a white shirt he has orange pants and he has like orange socks as well and he has like sandals on his feet and honestly i don't hate the outfit to be honest it's just like the little details for me i don't like how the sock color it's like it's not the same or shade of orange as the pants he's wearing that the pants he's wearing are a bit like deeper orange and the socks he's wearing are like a lighter shade of orange so it's like those little little things and i know to anyone else this would not matter but like i said in the beginning that's one of my pet peeves so i don't love that per se but i do appreciate how because i saw him like on stage and y'all i'm saying this like i was at the event but with how many videos i've watched i feel like i was there but i saw him on stage and he looked good his outfit looked good so i'm gonna give it four stars mainly because of those like little details that i mentioned but i don't hate the outfit okay so next up we have this guy and he is like dancing throughout this video so bear with me and he's wearing a black shirt and like gray cargo pants and like yeah guys i don't i cannot see his outfit properly like so it's very difficult for me to give a proper proper like unbiased review but you know like now if you can dance you attend to me so i'm gonna give him four stars because i can't see his like shoes or anything because he's moving around a lot in the pictures but his pants were not like super super compressed so i'm gonna give him four stars per okay so next up we have these three guys and let's start with the one on the left the one on the left is wearing like glotto he has like red it's like a red glotto fit and i love the material that glotto outfits are made of i just love it what i don't like is the shirt he put underneath because i feel like the glotto silky material is already like so in your face and it's so like velvety that when you put something with a design underneath it kind of takes away from i don't know the vibe of it so i don't like the shirt he has underneath but i do like what he has over like the grotto outfit that i do like i hope i'm making sense i hope i'm <laughs> 
and the bucket hat i don't hate the bucket hat and his glasses he looks okay so based on the outfit i can see here i'm gonna give him um four stars just because i'm a glotto stan and i always say i'm a glotto stan so now let's move on to the guy on the far right i'll get back to him let's go to the one on the right <laughs> so the one on the right there he has a white t-shirt he has um jeans and the jeans are kind of they're not high-waisted or anything they're kind of low-rise and then now what i don't understand ne? and stay with me here because don't get me wrong this guy is very attractive looking at him physically he's he's very handsome ne? but his outfit let's let's not be biased his outfit why wapara borok obobo lengisa on top of lengisa borok you go ahead obo bale di and the one that I think, you know, all the English is like make it make sense. <laughs> For me, how it make sense? Like I don't understand that part because like what's what are we doing? The one that I let. The most sana has left my body. It's just, it's not making sense to me. And also, over a durag on top of durag over the kepes. Thank God he's pretty, and thank God he's very, very attractive because I don't like his outfit. So I'm gonna give that outfit two stars, to be honest, like completely unbiased. I do not like the outfit at all. So now let's move on to the guy in the middle. Let's just put up a picture of him all by himself because, hey. <laughs> I'm kidding, y'all, I'm kidding. I'm even gay, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, Um. so this guy, he can never do any wrong for me, eh? He just never does wrong. Like, I like his pants, I like the black shirt. I even like the TV sunglasses. I even like the TV screens on his face. I like the hat. Five stars, it's just, it's giving what it's supposed to give. Like, oh, Charles are getting hot in here, is it me? <laughs> I like it a lot. Okay, so next up we have this girl and she has a brown crop top. She has cargo pants. She has white sneakers and her crop top is like high rise and then her pants are low rise. And y'all, if I did that, you guys would ask me what is the baby shower? So she gets bonus points for just being able to, you know. Yo, and guys, she's a DJ. I saw her behind the DJ booth. And I really do respect that. I love her outfits. I love how it fits her body. It just, it's everything and more. So I'm definitely gonna give her five stars. I just, I'm obsessed. Last but certainly not least, we have this girl. She is wearing cargo pants. She has a pink crop top. And then over the crop top, she has a jean leather jacket. And it's kind of lopsided. Like it's short on one side and it's long on another. I love TV. I love TV. So it's awesome. Ha! And then my name is Kim Kardashian West. Hi! Hey, but anyways, you guys love them. If you like them, I love them. So I love her outfit. I love her jeans. I like the the like white design on top of her jeans, like how it's black and then there's those little white rectangles on them. I love that. I love the pink crop top she has underneath. I love how she paired that with a pink bag. And I actually really like how her jacket is like lopsided you know like it's short on one side and it's long on another side what i don't like and this is something very minor the leather color on her sh jacket does not match the leather color on her pants and i understand that not everybody would be going for that look but if the colors at least actually match it would like take this look from you know to a whole new level for me so for that one reason alone i'm gonna give this four stars but her she looks good like she doesn't look bad at all so i love her outfit a lot so guys <laughs> we have come to the end of this video and just like i did in my last video i'm going to give my best dressed and my worst dressed outfits okay so my worst dress of the night and i'm sorry i have to do this guys because just because i don't like this outfit particularly it doesn't mean it was a bad outfit it just means that it's not my cup of tea you know but if it's your cup of tea your bread your margarine your tamat sauce let it be that but my personal worst dress of the night is honestly this outfit and hey it's the brown belt over the blue jeans and the blue bandana over the white hat like this is <laughs> there's just a lot going on that i do not like about the outfit but he is very handsome so 
a win is a win, you know? Okay, and my best dress of the night is actually a bunch of people because last Garden of Drip, I had one particular outfit that I was obsessed with. But this time around, it's like, there's like three or four outfits that I do love and I'm just gonna put them on the screen just so you guys can see. These were like my... Oh, my favorite favorite outfit so yeah guys let me know what you think let me know if you actually agree with my opinion on these outfits and yeah let's just have a conversation in the comment section i am so mad that like i actually could not review some outfits like just daddy g i saw a picture of just daddy g at the event day but i did not i was not able to find like any of his outfit pictures and i was like daddy why why so yeah, I wish I had like some of the other people that I actually recognized um, outfits to be able to review them. But unfortunately, this is what we had and this is what we had to work with. Either way, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I just, guys, I would really appreciate your feedback in the comment section. And guys, it helps me out a lot when you guys subscribe to my channel. So please, 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 if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications. I post a new video every single week for you guys. I hope you guys will enjoy that. And if you haven't already, click right over here to watch my last week's video, which is a vlog and i'm sure you guys would love that too and also you can also go watch the first ever garden of drip edition i did if you haven't seen that already and guys please leave a comment i will see you guys next week i love you guys and bye